another episode of Low Budget Tutorials, the show where we teach you how to make a prop or an effect for under 20 bucks. This week, we're teaching you how to make a fake axe. Let's get started. The first step in this project is tracing or drawing your axe onto your styrofoam. Use a pen or a marker because a pencil won't show up well. Once you've traced it, you can cut it out with scissors or something sharper, but please be careful. Once you've done this, you should have two shapes that look like this. Now it's time to shape these two pieces with sandpaper. Sand the blade so that it's a wedge, and sand the handle so that it's round. This is the part of the project it takes the most amount of time. So remember, be patient. If you want to, you can speed up the process by using scissors to scrape off excess pieces. Once you're done with all those steps, you should have two pieces that look like this, the handle, and this, the actual blade. The next thing we gotta do is glue them together. Remember to do this process quickly because the hot glue will dry fast, and if it dries, you won't be able to stick the two pieces together. Here's what it should look like. Now that we have our basic axe shape, the only thing left to do is paint it the colors you want. Now you can do this either way. You can paint it the color of the real axe that you have, or you, if you don't have a real axe, you can just paint it whatever color you want to make it look cool in your movie. This is the easiest part of the project. All you have to do is mix some colors together to get the color that you want for your handle. I chose a tan color because I wanted my handle to look like wood. I mixed dark brown, white, and a yellow color to get the color that I wanted. I, can, I couldn't get it the exact shade that my real axe was, but that's okay, I just improvised. Now remember, you have to put on a lot of paint because the styrofoam is extremely porous and will soak up a lot of it. So you have to put on at least two layers. This is about what it should look like. Now it's time to paint the head of the axe. I chose silver for the end and black for the back of it. It all depends on what your real axe looks like or how you want your axe to look. I got the silver color that I wanted by mixing black and white together. Once again, remember to put on two layers of paint. Because if you don't, you'll see a bunch of white styrofoam parts that you'll have to paint over. your axe for the paint to dry and then you're done this is what your axe should look like when you're done with it now I know that it doesn't look exactly like a real axe but it should only be shown in motion or far away from the camera so 
you should never have a close-up right on it or it'll look extremely fake and just kind of weird looking. Um, and just remember, it is styrofoam, so it is extremely fragile. I broke it once when I dropped it and had to glue it back together. But it's, um, it's a pretty good prop, so... But if you're being rough with it on set, like throwing it or hitting it against things, you might only be able to use it once or twice. But, I mean, for a $7 prop, it's pretty nice, pretty good to use. Um, I'll be using it in the movie that I am releasing this summer called The Broken Chain. So uh, make sure to check that out. And thanks for watching my tutorial on how to make a fake axe. And make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.